Welcome back, and of course, Derek Sanderson joining me, the author of Crossing the Line, also the subject matter of the, the whole book, the outrageous story of a hockey original, and then Derek Gregoire from SHP Financial. And by the way, both names, Derek, did you know he was named after yeah, you? Yeah, by Bay State Welfare. That's different. That's a great <laughs> name. You know what it means? It means, uh, you told me, but I yeah, forget. Derek, it's ruler of men, king like. It's Gaelic, and my mother didn't think of that when she named me. She just didn't want my name to end in a Y. Well, my dad and my mom thought of you, so <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, as ruler of men, yeah, this will be a good uh, time to lead into what you do, helping people uh, really protect the money. And this comes in the context of a country right now that puts these athletes up on a pedestal. They're expected to do no wrong. They make enormous sums of money. And most often, you hear sob stories of people losing it. Antoine Walker loses a few hundred million. Uh, uh, Allen Iverson. Yeah. Uh, and you must see it all the time. I mean, you're, you're, you happen to you. Well, it happened to me. Hopefully, it, it doesn't. Happen. The guys that I've that I've managed the money, and I don't manage it. The professionals do. We have money managers for that. But the guys in the sports group uh, at Base State Wealth Management is if there's a plan. Follow it. There's a discipline to it. You are the same. Any of any as long as we're honest and we're not looking to take advantage of you, then you got to stick with the profession. And it's not as though Derek that we have um, you know athletes watching the show looking for the best financial advice. It really comes down to what the general public uh, can learn from these yeah. mistakes that the pub, you know that the athletes make. And you see it every day. People, no matter what sum, they might make bad decisions. Of course, yeah. We get to the point where clients get to the point they're about to retire, and they have no plan in place. And that's a recipe for disaster. You have to have some trusted advisor that knows what they're doing that can put a nice plan together for you, especially, you know, it might be different for you, Derek, but for us it's more, usually more of income base. You know, you have your, you're retiring, you're used to getting your monthly income from work, now you've accumulated these assets. How do we shift that and properly set it up for an income that can give, you know, pay out for the rest of your life? Again, you have to have a plan. So many people we sit down with are disorganized and have assets everywhere, and we try to put it together and formulate an idea, you know, a plan and roadmap for their retirement. And you know, the, the analogy is here with sports in the sense that you never went into a game with no game plan. No. You never, you know, the coach never just said, hey, just go do whatever it is that you want to do. No, don't go out there and have, yeah, don't go out there and have fun. There's a way to play this game, right. let's, let's do it. And it's the same as when you're dealing with people. I, I worked in retirement uh, when I first got in the business for a while. And people aren't prepared to retire. They are prepared, they think financially, but they're not emotionally prepared, they're not. Exactly. So there's a lot of different things that come into that, that problem solving scenario, and a professional will do you. Now you've got this lump, and yeah. you don't spend it tomorrow, but if you spend it too quickly, you're eroding principle. Mm -hmm. Once you start to erode principle, you have no compounding on the plus side. What do you think the fear is, uh, you know, we talked about fear in your book, what do you think the fear is for the average person to reach out for that help? I was gonna, it's, well, it's not, I was going to kind of go a different way with it, Chuck. A lot of people, too, even when they retire, they're still, we're trying to focus, and yeah. focus them on the income and distribution phase of their life, and they're still kind of in that accumulation phase. It's hard to get that psyche switch to Listen, a lot of they're, too, they're still saving. They're still trying to save because they're so used to it. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to shift them. To, okay, you don't have to save anymore. Now it's time to use the money you have and pay it back to you and make sure it lasts. Well, make when sure that, it lasts. When that paycheck stops, you know, oftentimes it's a it, whole different world. It's a whole different world. Exactly. It's yeah. a scary thing psychologically. And obviously, I don't can't tell firsthand, but I've dealt with many clients going through that transition. Yeah. And whether it's an athlete at 30 when their income stops, or an ath or a retired person at 66. It's a very different psyche and, and psychological switch you have to go through to make that transition. You know, with all the negativity that's out there, people tend to, you know, go into their cocoon or put their head in the sand, and does that prevent them from getting help? Well, I think you look at people who are afraid. The market used to be the fail-safe. Now the market, all of a sudden, the insurance was the key. It went down, this got hit, that got hit. But the professionals rebounded, they came back. It's still the professional, the one that does it for a living. Don't be afraid. It is a scary time. Yeah. Real estate will come back, as it always does. I mean, buy and hold philosophy is not in vogue right now. But, you know, uh, valuation is, and it's different, and ETFs. There's different ways to manage money that people have to go out and get educated. Exactly. Mm -hmm. There's so much money that we see on the sideline. People are paralyzed Trades. by the market yeah. and by the negative press that's put out there. 
Um, but there's still, like Derek said, there's still ways to go about it and, and earn interest and preserve your assets and set up things the right way. Derek, you know, um, I want to thank you for coming on the program. The book Pleasure. is called Crossing the Line. It's the outrageous story of a hockey original. I read this thing, at, at, I think two days I went through the whole thing. It was an amazing story. And Derek Gregoire can be uh, reached at shpfinancial.com and the website of your firm too is Bay State well, Financial. Bay yeah. State Financial and SHP Financial. Really get the help, I think. Look to, uh, you know, professionals to help you with that game plan. I think that's a good message. Going that's forward. what you need. Get a plan in place. The Derricks, ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much. We'll take a short break. Be right back with more Money Matters Boston in just a minute.